Hi guys, it's Tasha. Yes, my voice is still not right, but it's okay. I feel okay. But uh, my niece tagged me in a video on Facebook today. And it was just a simple glass etching little short video. And I said, well, you know what? I, I could try that because I had actually bought this wine glass yesterday from Dollar Tree and I actually got it because I want to do some more smoothies and I saw a video where the person did smoothies and put them in wine glass and I just thought it was cute so I just went and bought one just because and I already had some of this I don't know where it is it's still packed up but I had a 50% off coupon so I went and got me one of these from Michael's I already had this tape right here and this is something I just got not too long ago. And you're really supposed to use like the painter's tape or the paper tape. I've got this little brush and I got my stencils right here. And I actually got these today too from um, Michaels. These were $4.99. Let me see if I can get this out real quick. Now what I've already done was taken this glass right here and I used some alcohol. The only alcohol I had was 71%. Was it 71? No, it was the 91% alcohol. So I used that to clean the glass with, which was which is what they did on the video. So let me peel off my my uh, template, and I just chose a little cute butterfly, and I'm gonna just put it on here. Try to get it on straight, well, as straight as I can, anyway. Let me see, right about right long up in here. Let's see, is that straight? No, it's not straight. I can look at it. The tail is not straight. I may have to switch over to the other side because I don't want this. This is my first time doing this too, by the way. Let's see. Let me put this down here. Maybe I can do it better this way. Ugh, I'm having a hard time just getting the thing on. Let me come. Let me pause the video and come back when I get the the uh, stencil on. Okay. Let me just. Okay, I got this on as straight as I could get it, and now I'm gonna take this tape and kind of go in the places where, because I don't want the etching uh, medium to get on the glass. So. Again, let me pause it, get this taped up, and then I'll show you. Be right okay, back. so I got the tape around the stencil, and I actually covered up the stencil just a little bit so that hopefully it'll prevent any of this medium from going through. So it says you put this on and you wait five minutes. So let me see if I can. Can you guys see that still? Yeah, it looks like it. Let me see if I can. Where's that? Had something. Oh, that might work right there. Hopefully it won't fall off and roll off. Let me get the gloves on because uh, it is a warning that the stuff will burn your skin. So, And these are some gloves that I um, had left over from my beauty salon days. I used to buy these things by like four or five boxes, maybe six boxes at a time when I was at the hair, when I would go to the hair show. Okay, so I got my gloves on. So guys, be safe when you're doing this, okay? And I'm just gonna... Can I get something out the cap? Yeah, there's a little bit in the cap. And I'm just gonna put this on here. Like so. This is how they did it in the video. And you just put it on. And these stencils are actually made of vinyl. So I would suggest if you're going to try this, 
get vinyl get vinyl stencils and not the paper ones. I just want to get a little bit more so I can make sure that this is completely covered the design. Okay. And I'm actually not going to even attempt to clean this brush because usually when I do glues or paints I clean the brush and I usually use it until I can't use it anymore. So I'm going to let this sit. I'll go and I'm going to oh, come on. It was sitting up there a minute ago. Now I want to act right. Okay. So I'm going to this is how it's looking. And it's kind of watery or runny, so I don't want to do it, hold it over long. So I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to start my timer now, and I'll get back with you guys in five minutes. All right, guys, it's been a little over five minutes. It's actually been more like six minutes because I was trying to adjust the camera. But I'll tell you what I did. I picked this up about two minutes in. And to look in it, at it from this, from the inside in the light, and I saw that I had missed a spot, so I went back and retrieved the brush and I fixed it real quick. So I'm finna go and rinse this, then I'll be right back. Give me a minute. All right, guys, I just came from the restroom, um, rinsing the glass. So let me just stand it and take these gloves off. And we're going to do the big reveal. Because I can reuse my, um, my stencil. Ah. Oh, this Dollar Tree, this Dollar Tree, um, duct tape, good lord. And this is my first time doing glass etching, guys. So, if it's kind of less than perfect, oh well, I tried again. The glass was only a dollar from Dollar Tree. So, I won't, I won't break the bank trying to get this right. I think these vinyl um, stencils are a lot tougher than what they may seem, but I don't want to take any chances on tearing it up. So, and there's my stencil, and I'm going to just take it and put it back on the, the, uh, the backing that it came from. Looks perfect, doesn't feel like the etching stuff did anything to it. Now let's see. And, hey, and I'm surprised that none of the um, the sticky from that Dollar Tree um, tape didn't stick on. Well, yes, it did a little bit right there, but I can get that off with some um, some alcohol. And there is my first etching, any my first glass etching, and this is a Dollar Tree wine glass with Michael's, the Michael's brand stencil, and this right here, the Armor Edge. Alright guys, thank you for joining me, and here you go Terry. Bye bye.